Do I have one hell of a story for you? The Congressional Progressive Caucus has decided to back a big oil, big pharma, Fox News, Wall Street Democrat over progressive Nina Turner. Now, as despicable as this is, it's not at all surprising, and I'll tell you why. And I'll also get into why Chantel Brown is so terrible and why Nina Turner, of course, is the obvious choice in this upcoming primary on May 3rd in Ohio. So first, here, before I get to the main story, just quickly, I want to show you that Bernie Sanders made the right choice, of course, saying Nina is a real leader who fights. Sanders endorses Turner for Congress. So again, just to be clear, Nina Turner is the challenger here. Chantel Brown is a sitting Democrat. Bernie Sanders backing Nina saying, with Nina, we know that she will not be afraid to take on the corporate interests that are driving up the price of gas, food, and just about everything else, said the Vermont senator. And on Twitter, he went on to say, Today, I enthusiastically endorse Nina Turner for U.S. House in Ohio's 11th Congressional District. Nina is a real leader who fights for higher wages, Medicare for all, and affordable prescription drugs. Now, let's get to the Congressional Progressive Caucus PAC. They have decided to back Chantel Brown. Now, this, of course, is the caucus that is led by Pramila Jayapal, uh, Mark Pocan, Jamie Raskin, um, and this, of course, is a horrible choice, but it's not at all surprising because Chantel Brown is a part of this caucus. <laughs> She's a part of the so-called Progressive Caucus, a candidate, I'll get to more on this later, but a candidate that took Republican money is a member of the Democratic Progressive Caucus, which she joined a month after joining the business-friendly New Dem Coalition. Chantel Brown is a member of both. And just to make sure, I looked this up. This is the Progressive Caucus page, Chantel Brown. Here is the New Dem Coalition page, <laughs> Chantel Brown. Two groups that are diametrically opposed to each other, Chantel Brown is a member of both. Can you guess which side she actually fights for? Well, of course, the money she takes, as I'll get to, tells you. But this, uh, so she joined, this is, this is Politics 101. Chantel Brown joined the Progressive Caucus a day before, this is on January 25th, a day before Nina Turner announced her run against Chantel Brown this year. So Nina announced on the 26th. Chantel Brown, of course, got word of that, joined on the 25th. <laughs> it is just, this was done purely as a way to undermine her re-election or her, her rematch with Nina Turner in this primary. Absolutely disgusting. Now, to be clear here, there apparently are no, there's no barriers to anybody joining these caucuses. So, you know, it's not like, this is my understanding of it, as I believe AOC has complained about this, that anybody can join the Progressive Caucus. Like, more than half the members of the caucus aren't actually progressive. <laughs> they just want that label. So if they have any challenges from the left, they can fight them in some way and say, hey, I, I'm a part of the progressive caucus. I believe in these things that I'll never actually fight for, but I'll say I believe in them just to win this election. And that's ultimately the, the vast majority of members, I would say, or at least a majority of members in the caucus, it's done purely for political reasons. They don't actually care, care about these issues. And Chantel Brown is the perfect example of that, being a member of both. Now, just to be clear here, just because the Progressive Caucus has endorsed Chantel Brown does not mean that the squad is endorsing Chantel Brown. It doesn't mean every member of the caucus is, in, is endorsing Chantel Brown. So they have voiced their frustration with the Progressive Caucus before, namely during the um, fight over the infrastructure bill, how, that, how eventually the leadership of the caucus caved to support the infrastructure bill before there was ever a vote on Build Back Better. So, of course, that, you know, I did many videos on that back then. You can go watch uh, that if you want to recap on, on what happened there. But since then, I mean, there's been talks of a breakaway caucus from those pro those actual progressive members wanting to break away from this uh, fake progressive caucus. So, you know, will anything actually happen here? It's hard to say. But regardless, they do vote their own way. So when it came to that infrastructure vote, for example, you had the Justice Democrats, I believe about six of them, vote against supporting the passage of that because, as they had promised, 
they wanted to see a vote on Build Back Better first because they knew they could not trust Joe Manchin and Kirsten Cinema, and they were right to do so because, as you see, there is no Build Back Better. So I just want to make that clear that just because the caucus in general is endorsing Chantal Brown, it doesn't mean you know the entire um uh, that the entirety of the caucus is, but. A little more on why Chantal Brown's so terrible. So this was during the last uh, election here. In the race against Nina Turner, GOP donors fund Chantal Brown. Yes, Chantal Brown took money from Republican donors. Because Republicans were smart. They understood that Nina Turner had a fantastic shot. She was well in the lead. But if Nina was in there, she would be an actual fighter for people, an actual fighter for the working class. So they played both sides backed Chantel Brown over Nina Turner, even though Brown, based on a label, is a Democrat, but takes Republican money, takes big oil money. More on that here from Salon. Dollars pouring into Chantel Brown's campaign are coming from a very different political and social universe, as the Daily Poster has reported. Quote, business-friendly Democrats and Washington lobbyists for huge corporations, including Big Oil, Big Pharma, Fox News, and Wall Street, are providing big bucks to stop Nina Turner from becoming Congresswoman Turner. So there was a ton of money spent against Nina Turner in that race. Not even necessarily for Chantel Brown, but just a an attempt here, a successful attempt to sink her campaign against Chantel Brown. Now, to remind you, ninaturner.com. I'll link to this below, though I shouldn't need to link to it. NinaTurner.com. Very easy. Type it in. <laughs> Go and support her. And uh, just a reminder, the primary is on May 3rd. I'm sure there's you know early voting and all that. So if you're in their district, in Ohio's 11th, make sure you're paying attention. If you know anybody in that district, make sure they're paying attention that they're going to vote for Nina Turner for the actual working class candidate in this race. And... You know, we're going to see the kind of impact this endorsement from the Progressive Caucus has. It's it's really more of a, a money endorsement than anything else, as they've access now to that PAC money. Um, as Chantal Brown has access to that PAC money. But in terms of, you know, I don't know, you know, in terms of the actual name, like, oh, she's backed by the Progressive Caucus. Is that really going to sway anybody? Maybe, I guess, if you're really not paying attention. And to be fair, <laughs> a lot of people don't pay attention during these during these elections. But... You know, these sorts of endorsements, I don't think really do all that much, except for the money. So again, you have Chantal Brown here tapping into both corporate money and so-called progressive cash. Absolutely disgusting.